Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing really, really well. So you're getting a bonus video this week because I got a very exciting package in the mail yesterday. Uh, I was having just a crap week. And so this couldn't have come at a better time. I got a box of books from my friend Andrew from It Came From The Page. We had talked about these books a little while ago because he knows my love of ghosty books like you guys do. My ghosty shelf is just over here. And uh, he had a whole bunch of ghost story books that he didn't want for his collection anymore and he, know how, he knew how much I loved having them in my collection so he asked if he could send them over and of course I said yes. And uh, so I am entirely thankful for this stack of books. It made me so, so happy yesterday. Like I said, I don't do full unboxings on my video because I tend to get very emotional when I get gifts from friends and uh, so I just wanted to keep that moment for myself but I couldn't wait to share these with you guys. I'm so, so excited to reorganize the shelf tomorrow morning. Um, of course, we're gonna be doing our regular sprints tomorrow on Sunday and uh, we're gonna get all of these up on the shelf and I'm so, so excited. So let's see what's in this stack of books. We do have some that are specifically Canadian and then some that I really, really needed it for my Ghost House series. So I'm super, super excited to get into this. So let's get into the video. So first off, we do have Ghost Stories of Saskatchewan by Jo Ann Christensen. And she is one of the main authors kind of for the Ghost House series that I do collect. And I have a whole mess of other books of Canadian Ghost Stories by her. Um, so this one is specifically for that province, just a little tiny book. And um, so I'm starting to amass quite a few of her, so I actually want to look up and see outside of the Ghost House series kind of other books that she has that I can keep an eye out for. So there is that one. And then we have, skipping over number two, we have Ghost Stories of Saskatchewan 3, also by Joanne Christensen. This one is a little bit thicker, so it's almost like as she went on in her research and everything, she started to compile more and more stories. So I'm definitely going to have to keep out keep an eye out for uh, number two in this series but for right now super super excited to have these and then one more before we get into the actual ghost house series this one is called this ha haunted southland where ghosts still roam by nancy roberts and this is uh i hope i hope this is not due back at the library it looks like an ex-library copy so this looks very very old you can see that somebody had uh this Oh, there's a couple of pages ripped out in the front. That's okay. Somebody did have this at a garage sale for 25 cents. And of course, you can't get uh, vintage books for 25 cents anymore. Um, so this one is from the University of South Carolina Press. Um, oh, 1970. So that's, oh, okay, so this is a reprint from 1988. So the original copyright was 1970, and uh, this particular edition is 1988, which is super, super cool. Like I said, it looks like even the, the text and everything that it has on here is super vintage. And uh, it does look very 70s and 80s. So I'll have to take a look, uh, a little bit of a closer look, because I can't see exactly where these are from. I'm assuming it's from South Carolina. Uh, but super, super excited to have this. And it's really cool that it's hardcover. I don't have too many hardcover books in my ghosty collection as of right now. And now getting into the actual Ghost House series. So I was just looking at mine, and this is really, really cool, because um, it says that this is Ghost House number four, Ghost Stories of Hollywood which is really kind of cool. So this one seems to be a little bit older. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. This one seems to be a little bit older, um, but also on the shelf, Ghost House number four is Ghost Stories of Manitoba. So um, I don't know, it, it does have a different logo on it. So I'll have to look a little bit closer to see kind of how that sort of knocks out because it doesn't make sense to me right now why there's two number fours. But really interested in ghost stories of Hollywood because um, I really enjoy watching the Grim Life Collective and they're based out of uh, kind of Los Angeles, Hollywood, Cal California. And they go around to all kinds of different haunted places. And uh, I would like to read a little bit more further into that and probably get some new ones because Matthew and I really would like to go to California and check out some filming locations and haunted locations and all of that sort of thing. So this one is really, really cool. Super excited for this one. And then getting back into uh, Saskatchewan. So this is Ghost House number five. This is Joanne Christensen as well. And this is more ghost stories of Saskatchewan. So um, obviously there's another one that comes before this. So I'm gonna have to go on their website actually and just find out the exact order of how these work. So it'll be interesting to see how much crossover is between this one and the other two that are outside of the Ghost House series. And then, really, 
really excited about this. This is one of the ones that I couldn't wait to get my my hands on. So this is number 15 and this is ghosts, werewolves, witches, and vampires. So getting outside of the ghost uh, stories and haunted houses and oh we have treasures and all of that sort of thing. Um, so we have some treasures in here. Let's see. Oh, UFO Talker Podcast. So this is uh, a business card for um, a podcast. So I'll have to check that out, see if they're still on. And this one is a business card for Such and Stuff with Deb the Seer, Wellness Center and Gift Shop. So it looks like somebody uh, got a couple of business cards for like new agey kind of stuff. And that's really, really cool that I found that in this particular book. And I love that it's purple too. Purple is my favorite color. So we've got some treasures to put in my uh, little scrapbook. And uh, this is pretty cool too, because like I said, like the majority of these are kind of haunted house stories. So interesting to get some different kind of lore as well. And number 16, so I do already own this one, um, Campfire Ghost Stories. And, but I always say yes to getting newer copies of these because some of mine, they're not in great condition. Some of them have like bent pages or a lot of writing inside and stuff like that. So I can, um, kind of swap out the ones that aren't so great. So excited to get a, a new copy of this. And I want to do like a whole kind of summertime ghost story camping sort of themed, maybe like a, a vlog or something that something like this would really, really go into. So I love telling ghost stories around a campfire. It's just a whole, it has its whole vibe. I used to be in Girl Guides. I think in the States you guys have Girl Scouts and uh, we used to go on our camping trips every summer and it was really, really cool to tell stories around the campfire. So very, very nostalgic for me. And then we have uh, number 19 by Barbara Smith. So this is Ontario Ghost Stories, volume two. So I think I have the original one and then this is the sequel. So I'm looking for treasures now because the past couple of videos, past couple of book hauls, we've had treasures. Um, so super, super excited about that one. And this is another one that I'm really super excited about. Uh, this is number 25, Haunted Highways, Ghost Stories and Strange Tales. So when you have those long stretches of like isolated highway, um, this is the theme around this particular book. And uh, that is super, super cool because there's nothing like isolation ghost stories. And then this one, number 28. So this one is by the same author, Dan Asfar. So uh, he did this one and then number 28 ghost stories of the old west. I'm just going to take a quick peek here to see if this is Canadian west or American. Yeah, I think this is the American west, which I'm totally fine with because I live in the Canadian west, so it'd be kind of cool to get something outside of that. Like I said before, um these ghost house books, uh I can get a lot of the Canadian ones here, but I can't get a lot of the American ones. So, hoping to branch out my collection and like I said, I need to look them up to see what I'm missing. Uh but this collection is quite large, I think in mine like it goes up to like number 70 or something that one. and then i couldn't wait i was so so excited to see that andrew had a copy of this that he was waiting to give up this is one of uh the more rare ones so this is number 34 haunted halloween stories 13 chilling read aloud tales and i mean we're almost halfway to Halloween, you guys, uh, in April, which we have old school April coming up as well. Um, I'm super excited to have this one and uh, it's in great condition. And I think this is going to be perfect for spooky season. So super, super excited to have this one finally going up on my shelf. And this one as well is another one that I'm gonna have a little swap out. Uh, this is number 45, Urban Legends, Strange Stories Behind Modern Myths. So this, I guess, kind of probably tells sort of the origin stories behind some of the uh, modern myths that a lot of us know about. And uh, this one as well is by A.S. Mott. So um, like I said, I do have this one, but this one is in much better condition. So super, super excited to switch that one out as well. So there you guys go. Uh, that is my huge stack of ghosty books that I can't wait to get up on the shelf. And when you have a friend that sends you a whole box full of books and they take time out of their day, it just puts a whole kind of different energy into my library. So I'm super, super excited to get these. And uh, you know, the Ghost House series is growing. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a question or comment down below because you know I love talking to you guys. But until next time, stay spooky everybody. Bye.